C9 made him like worse mentally. <laughs> so do you have any response to that? I mean, I don't think I'm. <laughs> maybe like C9 sneaky. That yeah, I mean, maybe C9 affects me yeah. in real life. But <laughs> <laughs> well, still, I'm really a uh, nice guy and good human being. Hey guys, Parks Owsley with Invent Global, joined by Apollo, What's bot up? laner for <laughs> Echo Fox. It's good to see you again. Mm -hmm. New season, new team. Uh, you guys got your win today, so that's good. You got to go out one and one. Yeah. Um, you know, just right off the bat, kind of what are you thinking about your team and the season as a whole, um, you know, after we finally gotten to see the, the first 10 games? Uh, yeah, it's good. I mean, I think a lot of people were underrating us a little bit, and it's kind of justifiable. You know, we didn't have, like, the best performance on CG towards the end of the split, and we haven't really seen Rush in a while, and same kind of with same with Phoenix, kind of. So, like, I understand why nobody really, like, wanted to basically put the, you know, buy our stock. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I understand it. But we're really, I mean, we've been working really hard. Like, all of us have been putting so much time and effort into, like, scrimming, and there we've all had like really good attitude about it, just like knowing like what we need to do next and i think it's you know in part to do with our coaching staff like song and tyler are doing a really good job of just like pushing us and making sure that we you know we all have like we're on the same page we're all we're just like keeping you know strong mental basically and uh i really you know i really enjoy working with everyone so far i mean i've already worked with like colin and nick before but you know how it is. It's just, it's, it's just been really good. And it sucks that we, you know, didn't beat Clutch. I really wanted to beat them. Like, I really wanted to beat them. Maybe it didn't look like it, but I wanted to beat them. And, but yeah, I'm glad we got the, you know, we got the win versus Clutch, uh, Golden Guardians. Yeah. And we could talk about Clutch in a second if you want. <laughs> um, first, though, I do want to say I would agree that I think teams are underrating you guys, or uh, fans, viewers are underrating you. Um, I was as well at first. <laughs> So, oh, you know, I apologize, okay. but not now. I saw the light before this win. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. You know, I, I corrected it was a before. shaky, too, so I understand. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, you guys have four players who were fighting for third place in the mm -hmm. spring last year. So not even a full year ago. Um, so that's already, like, you know, how do we, we get these – we get four out of five people who are fighting for third. Yeah. That means they must have been good. Yeah. Um, and then – you know, you bring in Rush, who was old MVP. Yeah. So, like, what? Why are we thinking that this team is you not going to be PG good? <laughs> yeah, he just, you know, he was like picked second to win Worlds this year. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> um, so you know, it's good to kind of see you guys, you know, come back from kind of a difficult loss, and you got the win today. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about Clutch really quick. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, it must have felt kind of bad. You know, going forward, though, you do have another chance yeah, before you true. before you make playoffs. Right, right, we'll and you ma we'll chance. see if they make it, but of course you'll make it. Um, so, what is your what's kind of like your thought now? You're on a new team. Um, yeah, just what's what's different and what like was what did that game kind of represent for you? Um, oh, you're talking about the clutch game or the Golden Guardians one? Yeah, the clutch game. The sorry, clutch game, yeah. I I like rambled really long. <laughs> you know, end of the day, end of the week. I lost it a little, a little bit, but it's okay. We're back. Um, yeah, I mean, the game was, it was very slow because of our team comp, and they were like super fast paced, right? They had, they they had literally five champions with engage: Sivir, Leona, Galio, Rumble, Camille, and we, we like just a few slip ups basically made it so we lost. And I think uh, it was you know it was first game of the season. We weren't fully confident in our own engages, and that's where we kind of I think we really like messed up. Um, and we made sure to fix it in the Golden Guardians game, but we just, they were opportunities like that we could have actually engaged and like, you know, maybe came back or just, yeah, just we had a chance of coming back, but we never really took it and that maybe we were just too scared or just like something like that. We lost a little confidence, but I, you know, something that we're, we looked at objectified and we made sure to like fix that. But yeah, it sucks that we lost and I don't think it was like a super bad win or anything. You know, it was like, we clearly still, almost came back, right? We we had a chance of coming back. Tanner or DeMonte had like a really good Galio flash, uh, flash taunt on us. But yeah, I mean, I don't think it was like a bad loss by any means. Um, and yeah, I mean, next time, you know, we'll take them down. Next time. Yeah, <laughs> luckily there's still a next time right now, so we'll get to see that. Um, it, it does seem like there's a fun rivalry forming. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you go back to the third place match, and then right after that, the next time you face them, there's that, that bug, which you were on the losing side, which yeah. now, like, your org was on the winning side of that. 
So um, yeah, there's a lot of interactions between Clutch and Fox in the, the gauntlet. In the, yeah, the gauntlet, and uh, I mean, yeah, the the playoffs as well, all that stuff. So, and then obviously with all the roster swaps and and you know the mm-hmm. old you know it's your academy, the people below you, and Demonte yeah. and Phoenix. So it's definitely really fun to watch. Do you feel like there are any other teams that you have any sort of like emotional tie to as much as maybe playing against those guys i mean i don't think so not not th- not yet at least like there hasn't really been like rivalry rivalry yet um it was kind of fu- you know it was really fun to see like you know just like a you know mini reunion like seeing all you know coaching staff and like all the players just on we're all just you know kind of hanging out before the game and then we're we face them but it was it was really fun to like kind of have a little mini reunion Someone yesterday said it felt like like going back to high school after like <laughs> summer break or something. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I totally get that. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, I hear all these people again. Yeah. Um, so any anything that you're kind of working on this split? Oh, actually, I want to catch up on something. Oh, okay. Because the last time I talked to you, you said, uh, you know, you're a longstanding veteran. You've been here a while. Mm. Um, and you're like, I'm as good as I'm going to be. Uh. But the one thing I can work on is kind of like, you know, obviously understanding of game, but mm-hmm. kind of command of the game mm. um, and shot calling and, and communication. Mm-hmm. And when I asked, you know, what are you going to do in the off season since it's just solo queue? You're like, I don't know. Um, so what did you do? Did I, you, and, and, I, you? and I slumped over like that too. Like, you're like, oh, uh, I'm just depressed. pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> um, so did you, did you feel like you got to kind of work on any of that or is it still a goal that you have? Uh, no, it's still a goal and it's, I have been working on it and I think it's, um, I think with this team, especially like we're all kind of in that similar case where like, we all have our own voice and we all have like a good idea on how to play the game. So it's just a matter of just speaking up for yourself and then, making sure that it's the right play. Like, whether it's me or Rush or Nick or Colin, like, we all have that same, like, mindset where we just need to say something. I'm not in a spot where I need to be like, you, 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 you do this, you do this, you do this, you know? Like, I don't have to command everybody. It's just about, like, making the right calls, making the right plays, and just being confident. So I have been working on it, but it's not, like, as, like, I don't need to be, like, this, you know, big lead or anything for this team. It's just... Yeah, I just need to get better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just get good. Yeah, just the, get good. The Korean advice. It's whatever. <laughs> um, so speaking of that, you you played with Rush a while ago when yes. he was last year. Mm-hmm. Um, do you notice, does he seem any different as, as a human or as a player than when you used to play with him? He's still, he's pretty similar. He's kind of like a kid, just a little man child. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little kid, but no, he's, I mean... I mean, he he's, he of course has gone better, like much better. I just mean like in personality wise, you know, he's he's pretty similar. I, I already said this before, like in a another interview, but <laughs> here he is, uh, yes. Rush. Do you want to join us? Yes, Hello, sure. okay. uh, hi. hi. We've got we were literally just talking about you. I said you um, said this that C nine made him like worse mentally. <laughs> so do you have any response to that? I mean, I don't think I'm. <laughs> maybe like C9 sneaky. That you. Yeah, I mean, maybe C9 affects me yeah. in real life. But <laughs> <laughs> well, still, I'm really a nice guy and good human being. So last year, um, Apollo and I said that maybe it, he was kind of like the nicest LCS player, but you're known as kind boy. So. Well, I didn't say this. This was. Oh, like, maybe I did. Yeah, I mean, he was voted. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really. I feel like I can't really tell myself that I am. That's so <laughs> weird. That's fair. But do you feel like, are you here to challenge him? Is that why you actually came back? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> my viewers will say something deep, opposite, you know? <laughs> I'm actually the nice guy who never flames others. <laughs> trying to, I mean, actually being nice. So <laughs> yeah, Rush is the nicest. Yep. I agree. Thank you. You had an interesting cosplay as Dominate. Um, you know, were you, were you still being nice then? Or... I mean, <laughs> I was just cosplaying Abel Dominate to learn what I should not do, oh. you know? <laughs> I can learn something from you, you know? That's fair. Any other, uh, any other things that you're trying to learn right now in your, your quest back to NA? Uh, what should I learn more? Maybe I should be more... Interacting with PayPal. <laughs> no, 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 it's about like... <laughs> maybe be <laughs> cocky like some other players because I'm too humble, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right now what do you want to say yeah yeah be, be cocky i will be cocky more okay. <laughs> no like what uh just, okay, next time next, next, time, next, time. We'll, we'll, next time. we'll circle back to this yeah, yeah, yeah. um okay well we'll i'll finish we'll just i'll do one more question and then we can just all be done um 
So we've seen you on Karthus twice now, but normally we see you on like crazy champs that just go run over the game, which I guess Karthus can do. Um, why are you playing Karthus? Because uh, I think Karthus was... My Karthus is definitely not skilled as much as like real Karthus player, and it's not... It's one of my worst champions, but I thought... <laughs> It was still it's good enough better. to win. We're yeah, getting, yeah, we're getting there. Getting better in LCS, you know? Yeah. Okay, also, so... You, you utilize your passive a lot, too. <laughs> we know how to, right? I'm the only player. The only player. Hey, you gotta learn, as he said. There's always something to learn. Yeah. Um, well, cool. Any, do you want to say anything about your return to NA before we go? Uh, nothing for now. <laughs> I just need to say that thank you for the support and watch me getting better and better every week. For, and for Echo Fox, too. That was perfect. Awesome. And anything for you, Apollo? No, uh, he covered it. <laughs> <laughs> Same for Apollo. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for ganking our interview. Uh, great jungler skills right there. Um, and thank you all for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.